Hey DIY peeps, this is Warren again with another Edifice Venture update. We're still working on the kitchen, made great progress this week. Matter of fact, let's take a look where we're at right now. We have most of the painting done except for a few touch up spots. Uh, you can see here on the floor we have the cement fiber board down. We're getting ready to lay the tiles. Uh, this side is done, but this is not the side we're going to start with. We're actually going to start with this side of the kitchen putting the tile down and there is a reason for that and that would be, as you can see, the stove is missing from this section. So we haven't had a stove for a week and I do believe the wife is getting a little bit upset about that. So we'll get it put in. The first thing I have to do today is I have to take this plug and I have to move it all the way down to the bottom of the floor. The problem with leaving the plug where it's at right now is you can see that the opening at the bottom of the stove is where, which would allow you to plug the stove in and then push it all the way to the back so that, you know, the plug's not getting in the way. There's a small area of the kitchen where we do not have the uh, cement fiber board down and that of course is here where the refrigerator is. Uh, the refrigerator being the biggest piece of furniture in the kitchen here. And the one thing that has a cord long enough to actually uh, plug up, uh, leave plugged up and move around the kitchen somewhat so that we could get, uh, so we could get the other fiber board down. I do have the backsplash in, which this is really kind of cool because this was all made out of uh, recycled or tile remnants. So what you see is what I had, and the only thing that I might have done to these tiles to alter them in any shape, form, or fashion was to trim them up a little bit so that they fit, they fit in vertically or horizontally, whichever the uh, case may be. This is the opposite side of the counter where the tile is at. And this part is also finished right above the cutting board. I really like the tile here, it looks nice. It's not exactly the same color pattern, but when you're working with scrap tiles, you do what you have to do to make them fit. Uh, the reason I like the tiles here is because it actually is covering up what we had a small uh, gap and you can see that right here. Uh, we had a small gap and I didn't like the fact that food and stuff could actually roll back behind this cutting board and now with these tiles we have resolved that issue. I will be finishing the tile that goes along the top here of the wall. After I get that done, then I will start working on the countertop that goes on top of this wall that will make a small breakfast bar. I am also going to put tiles on this back part here. And you're probably wondering why, because you know, the stove goes in there, no one will ever see that. Well, that is true, but have you ever tried to clean a back wall? after the stove has been set in there for years and clean that without the uh, wall getting really nasty and dirty and nappy. Well, by putting tiles back here, it'll be, uh, be a lot easier to clean grease off of tiles than it will be cleaning grease off of a painted wall. That is our Edifice Venture update for Saturday, November 18th, I do believe. Yes, November 18th, 2017. Be sure to uh, come back later and uh, check out our progress. Be sure to like us on Facebook and check out our YouTube channel. Uh, just do a search for W Seekers 2. The channel will come up and be sure to subscribe. Everybody have a great day. Try to stay dry out there.